Hi everybody, it's Chris Petri. Welcome back. I just want to thank everybody for coming by and and, and uh, joining in on some of our uh, fun and enjoyable uh, watercolor uh, tutorials here. Um, I've just been working around the studio this weekend having some fun and uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of show and tell um, for um, some of my uh, artist uh, friends out there. I know all of you don't um, probably do portraiture work or uh, human figure work, but I'm sure some of you do. Um, so I've been working a lot on this the last couple of years myself, uh, portrait, um, portraiture and um, the human figure, the human form uh, with watercolors and uh, pencil drawings. And basically, um, so some of this is over the last couple of years. Um, and the most recent uh, work I've done is probably the bottom of this stack here, but I'll just kind of go through them one at a time just so you guys see what I'm working on uh, back here at my studio. And um, these are just fun, like sketches. Um, because I think portrait work is really challenging and very difficult sometimes, you know, some of them look good. I have many of them I set over to the side on my studio and I put them in a drawer because they came out terrible. But, you know, it's just a matter of practicing and um, working at them. And, um, you know, sometimes if we're too tired and we do a painting, it, it, it doesn't come out good or so forth. Um, if we're in a rush or we have to go somewhere and we're trying to finish a painting up quickly, we can do a couple things that might make it look very uh, unpleasant. But in any case, I'm just going to kind of go through a few of my uh, paintings here I've done recently and over the last couple of years. And some of them are going back a ways and some of them are um, some of them are newer. This one's really cool. This is a jazz, uh, a jazz uh, guitar player. Uh, and uh, so I have different things like a cowboy kind of personality here. And uh, another cowboy type personality, uh, Western, kind of a cool look there. Uh, again, I'm just, these are sketches. Uh, I'm practicing all the time with them, so I'm not getting too serious. I haven't done any work for someone or no one's hired me to do any port portrait work or anything like that. So I'm just right now having fun with it and, you know, learning all the different, uh, all the different things that uh, go into doing portrait work. And this is a nice profile type uh a portrait painting and a lot of these are from books um, study books that I have and again very uh, loose fun um, having an enjoyable time painting the, the uh, portrait so and drawing too pencil drawings are fun these look great too when the pencil drawing is done it looks great and then um, going in and doing the splashing around with the paints is a lot of fun as well. All right, so um, I thought I'd just kind of show you what I do on the weekends and at, at night after work, I'll work on drawing and painting. And um, So I thought on this uh, video here we would do a nice quick, um, I'll draw out, a, we'll do like a thumbnail, um, a small sketch, just to kind of um, practice our skills our contour drawing skills and kind of getting an idea of I'm working from another from a book from a study book a watercolor study book and so here I, I've got the drawing my outer uh, borders here and then I'm gonna go in and say okay the this is gonna be a landscape with some figures so I see that the distant hills are about about two thirds, a little more than halfway. So if this is the halfway point, it's a little more than a halfway where we where we're going to we're going to see the hills in the background. And then here we have um, some shadows. So here I'm kind of contour drawing. I'm just following the the, the picture, and I'm going to start to um, move around. And here's a, a large uh, tree. And then there's another large tree here. Kind of goes out of the picture frame. And then we're going to have a nice cool like cabin over here. This could be like a western, a western type uh, painting. And again, I'm contour drawing and I'm giving this, this cabin a nice uh, loose feel with some sway in it and I'm not going with 
I'm not making it too serious and perfectly straight or anything like that or taking out a ruler. I'm just having fun with it, doing the contour drawing. My pencil is just flowing around the... I'm looking at the... Across from, across from me, I'm looking at the painting that's in the book, my study book. And I'm just following what I'm seeing in the book. And I'm going constantly back and forth looking at my, my pencil um, contour drawing and then looking over at the painting back forth back forth and just making sure my pencil is uh, following those contours that I'm seeing in the in the painting I think we see another kind of barn back over there and then some hills and trees over here and then we see a definite line of like a field and then like a like a dirt road alongside the farm fields this is going to be in the farms and then we're going to have a cool angle coming across this way which is very cool these like these angles are really interesting in a painting so fields are always fun to paint um, when we're doing uh, watercolor paintings from a design point of view um, like fields and things like that with lines, directional lines can really be exciting in a in a painting. So here I got to make sure I'm getting my my lines kind of correct. So I see that I went off course a little bit, so that's no problem. I take my kneaded eraser. And I make sure I tape down my my watercolor paper. Okay, and I need to make these angles a little different. I was kind of rushing here a little bit. And let's see. Okay, that'll be a little more interesting. The angle's a little more sharp, uh, sharper there, like a, a little more this way versus this way, the way I had it. So I had to move that angle out, out a little bit, and that, and that looks much better. And then these over here just sort of go that way. And then over here in the foreground we're gonna have um, a farm worker over here working so we have a farm worker here and I'm just very casually putting in these these figures here um, They might be working on some uh, that might be like a, um, a wagon and they're loading up a wagon with some produce or something here or, or they might be um, putting down some uh, new seeds for the fields or whatever so they're kind of just working along and we kind of have fun just thinking that there there's some uh, some cool activity going on in this farm here and we have uh, another figure over here another figure here and that should be good for the figure work over here so we have and then over here there is a interesting line which kind of makes it like a cool border and this looks like just another part of the field where there might be a road right in front here and that's a nice thumbnail of a like a farm scene so we're gonna we're gonna do this also in a very um, a very kind of mellow uh, mellow color scheme we're gonna try to Try to make this um, very mellow, make it like a gold color. So I'm going to go in and get some raw sienna, raw umber, some, some yellow ochre, 
some gold, um, some cadmium yellow. And I think maybe just a little bit of uh, cadmium orange. A little bit of cadmium orange. And then we're just going to give this a good, um, nice uh, wash of the, of the gold color. And we can make one side a little lighter than the other, so we can go a little darker over here and then maybe a little lighter up here. Maybe the sunlight is over the over to the right here a little more. And we'll keep going. We have plenty we made up plenty of wash color, so we have plenty of I'm, uh, and I'm using a nice flat brush here. And I'm just using the parallel going across the page. We want to make sure we get all this covered, the whole paper. And then maybe I'll go in the direction of the field lines just to... That might be perceptible if we're doing the picture when it's all dry. dry. So I'll, I'll do that. Okay, so we'll let this dry. This first... Uh, wash and once we have this first wash down this is really kind of sets the whole tone and pace for the rest of the painting so now from here on out we're just going to do darker washes over this and um, and that's really about it the only other thing I can think of right now is I do see in the painting um, a uh, a little light spot that looks kind of like really bright and we can actually go in and see if we can maybe just lift, lift a little paint on this one spot I'm seeing. I could have done that a little bit quicker. See, as it dries, it's harder to lift up some of the paint, but I'm able to get a little bit of the paint up. There was a little bright spot on the field right there. And maybe that shirt, one of the shirts of the field, the um, farmers is uh, kind of bright white. So, all right, so we got a pretty pretty good uh, wash of paint on there and all right we'll let that dry and we'll come back and we'll start on part two we'll just we'll work into this and get the uh, darker tonal values completed um, and we'll have a really nice uh, simple uh, sketch here of, of a nice farm scene we'll see you in just a few minutes 